Welcome back to The Witcher 3. God, this game is gorgeous. Look at this sunrise. It's 3.40 a.m. And I can just, I can just stand here and watch the sun come up. Beautiful day-night cycle. Anyway, uh, it's time to go ask the herbalist about the buckthorn so I can take down the griffin. Medallion's humming. Place of power, it's gotta be. Mm-hmm. Already stopped at it. And by the way, you might notice that the video looks a little bit different. In a good way. Kind of, hopefully. So in the previous two episodes, I mentioned that for some reason, the video was very stuttery. It, it wasn't stuttery to me playing it, but it was stuttery in the recorded video that I recorded in OBS. And I wasn't sure how to fix it. Well, I still don't know what's actually causing the problem, but I did find a fix. And it's kind of good and kind of bad. The fix seems to be... Let me jump over this. I think something's chasing me. Okay, that works. <laughs> Almost missed it. Right, so the problem seems to be the fact that I wasn't getting a consistent 60 FPS even though I was recording 60 FPS. So my average FPS in this game has been about roughly around 45. And I always record at 60 FPS, of course. And for some reason that was causing an issue. It's, it's never caused an issue in any other game that I've played, but for some reason it was making it incredibly stuttery. So what I did to fix it was actually go into the game's Bounce. options and set the maximum frames per second to 30. So unfortunately this video is no longer going to be anything above 30. But the good thing is that it isn't stuttery anymore. Fast roach. It kind of breaks my heart to uh, not have a super smooth video, but I think the stuttering caused by recording at, six, at 60 FPS was much worse than the lack of smoothness of 30 FPS. So I think it's worth it. It is unfortunate, but I think it is worth it. Whoa there, Roach. Ooh, wait. There's a quest here. Let's go check it out. Knock, knock. Good morning. Or, no knocking. Just barge my way in. Greetings. A witcher? You see the notice? Hear about the well? A well? First I've heard. They're a problem. Aye. Tis haunted. Has been for a good twenty years. Twenty? So why do you put out a notice just now? Because earlier on we drew our water from the river. But so many corpses floating in it after the battle it's turned noxious. My daughter Mandy drank half a pitcher. Felt dreadfully ill, can't keep nothing down. She grows worse by the day. Herbalist claims you fight a fever with drink. And not beer nor cider, but water. Clear, pure water. And where am I to get that if not from the well? But first, the ghost's got to be driven away. And it don't let any man near. This ghost. Describe it for me. Well, it's awful frightening. Awful. I meant what does it look like? It looks like a woman, but fresh from the grave. Wears a dirty dress, all rags, its skin flaking off its bones, and it howls like it's suffering. Some wraith. Or maybe an alp. If you don't wallop it, master. If you don't take care of it, that is. It'll come kill me daughter. Fine, I'll help. Where's this well? In Havel. A settlement on the heights. It's abandoned now. No one ventures there on account of the ghost being about. Drive it off. Please. Alright, so where is this place? That's the herbalist that I need to talk to, right? Yeah. 
Is it marked on the map? I don't see it. Suggested level 3. Hmm. I'm not actually level 3 yet. Oh wait, that's the main quest. Never mind. <laughs> oh, suggested level 2. Perfect. Alright, there we go. Now it should be marked. There it is. So this whole place is abandoned because of the wraith, huh? Looks like there's a couple more quests, too. Let's go grab them up. Don't mind me, man. <laughs> Alright, I guess he does have some work for me. What happened? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. <laughs> Roasted some wieners. <laughs> what do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Sorry. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out of plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Nilf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left, but I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. Sounds like a job for my Witcher senses. Ooh. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here. Tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Boot prints. A man's. Large. I don't even want to run through this orchard. It's too beautiful. Look at it. You know what, now that I'm running at 30 FPS, I could probably crank up the settings even more. Hmm? Looking for trouble? No, looking for Prince. Hmm. Lost the track. Is that a yawn or a scream of pain? It's kind of hard to tell. Took off his boots and went in the water. Probably wanted to cover his trail. Mm. Smart. Stop spitting. Disgusting people.
I'm trying to see if I can make her run away so she stops making disgusting noises. Nope. My magic only scared her for two seconds. Adults aren't as easy to scare as kids. Alright, so... <laughs> the things these peasants say. Oh my god, just complete nonsense. Anyway, alright, so they probably went through the water and then came out somewhere else. Maybe right across? Maybe further down? Uh, hold on. There's something in here. Fishing rod? Wait a minute, can I... Can I actually go fishing? These people are disgusting. If I can go fishing, I am gonna be... I, I'm just gonna explode. Like, oh my god. That would be the best thing ever. Ah, huh? here we go. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. He has that blood on the ground? Yeah, footprints and <laughs> some differently shaped footprints from the drowners. And some blood. Lost his boots in the rush. Alright, I'm gonna pick pick up that trail in a second, but I really want to see if I can fish. Uh let's see, common items, right? Oh, it says junk. Can be sold to merchants or, or dismantled into crafting components. Does that mean I can't use it? Oh man. Lame. I mean, I suppose it isn't very witcherly to, <laughs> to be fishing. But it still would have been cool. Bleeding, but not badly. Surface wound. I want to know why there's a bow in the road. Look at that. Tracks lead back to the village. Do they just end? I see a little bit of blood on the ground. Okay, so am I just looking for a bootless person who's injured? Or is it actually this merchant right here? What did the folk do? they could have sewed his head back on. Oh wait, here we go. That's weird. I didn't see that before. Out of the way. Out of the way. Ah, back to the inn. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. Wait, this isn't the inn. No, never mind. The inn's over there. God, it's back to the spitting woman's house. God no. Hello. Oh. Claw marks. It's gotta be him. Hmm. Dirty feet. Bandage on their hand. Hello, Nap. How you doing? Nasty wound. Run into a drowner. What the fuck do you care? Whoa. Our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on. Smith wants to talk to you. I ought talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Nope. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! <laughs> Good luck. Should I use my magic to stop him? Alright, let's not punch him. Calm down. Now follow me.
I have a feeling the, uh, the smith is just gonna kill him. I gotta... Apologize. Gotta go. Apologize. Oh my god. Is he drunk or is that just because he's wounded or something? Look at him stumble around. Freak. Hmm. I would run ahead, but I don't think he could keep up. No. Alright, come on. Oh my god, you slow bastard. Look at the geese. Cute little things. Well, do the fighting. well, I'm in for him. Let's check out the notice board. Oh, uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to take that. I wanted to read it. Volunteers wanted by... Uh, uh, okay, I'll take it all. Sweet. There's much of interest to be found in the world's dense forests and fog-clad swamps. Whenever you peruse a notice board, question markers will appear on your minimap to indicate potentially interesting places. I guess it's the tutorial for the map. I think I kind of know how to use it. Tab to go to current objective. Okay, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So these are the potentially interesting places marked on my map. There are a lot of them. Oh my god, he is so slow. Oh god, put it away. Oh, I didn't even have to wait for him. Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey, soldier. A minute of your time, please. No! Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know... I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil still holds, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. Awesome. I get a discount to the shop. And all I had to do was get somebody killed. I feel so good about myself. Doggy! Come here. Aw. It's scared of me just like all the other animals. I can still jump over it, though. You know, I bet that guy I got killed, you can probably actually see him dead somewhere. Like, I don't know exactly where they took him, but it wouldn't surprise me if I'm gonna see him pop up at some point. Ugh. 
Alright. Do I have all the quests from the village? Yes, I do. No more exclamation marks. Let's go here. Come on, Roach. Oh, you're right here. Let's go. Okay, need more room to jump. Fair enough. Come on. Good woman, is this the road to Vizim? You stop. I'm going to burn this whole damn village down myself if they don't stop spitting. an herbalist's place would have tons of herbs. It's not considered stealing to pick them, is it? No, it doesn't seem to be. I keep collecting this stuff, but I haven't done any crafting whatsoever. I don't even know how to do it. Or, I mean, uh, any alchemy. I'm assuming that's actually going to be introduced when I uh, finish kind of doing this Ask the herbalist about the buckthorn quest, and uh, I'm probably gonna have to prepare some potions for the for the griffin. And I'm assuming that's when the tutorial for alchemy is gonna pop up. Oh my god! I'm such an asshole. I'm just cleaning this guy's garden out completely. Oh, wait, you're not a guy. Never mind. Bad time. Not at all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar tick's poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Hmm. Can I do something? Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her Swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for Buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking. A few years ago we had trouble. Drowners under the bridge. The whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars something something. Ah, good to know the black one's looking out for our welfare. Hmm, do I want to say that Captain Peter is actually looking out for their welfare? I don't know him very well, but he might be. I know the first time I met him, he was talking to that farmer and he was saying... 
I don't remember exactly what he said, but he said, like, you're talking farmer to farmer. You know, he used to be uh, a farmer, I think he said. And he understood. So, maybe he does actually care. Maybe. But I don't know them well enough to really defend them. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. What an interesting person. She's awake. Uh, I mean, I guess I might as well give her the swallow, right? If she's guaranteed to die otherwise, might as well try something. Anything. Okay, do I actually have Swallow? I don't know what potions I have. Let me check. No, it looks like I don't. Just Tawny Owl. Water. Wolf's liver. Yeah, so I need to brew it, and I don't know how to do that. I really have no idea how to do alchemy. Um... Shall we learn? You need the right ingredients. Mm-hmm. That's a created item. Those are the sorts of things you can make. Select a formula. Okay. Missing ingredients. What do I need? I need more celandine. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard. Actually, wait a minute, maybe I, can I actually buy from her? Yes. Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Yes, I know how to use a shop, thank you. There it is, I need four more. How much money do I have? 315. Oh, that's super cheap. Yeah, I'm just going to do it right now. Just only cost 20 to buy it. Yeah, let's go for that. I'll ask her her story later. Farewell. There we go. I might regret this if she does let out horrible screams of pain and, I don't know, maybe the rest of the villagers come running and they see me here. Yeah. I don't know, witchers aren't exactly terribly trusted. Alright, how do I do this? Oh, I need to give the potion to the herbalist. Yes. Got a potion for Lena. Swallow. First sign of spring. Symbol of rebirth. Fitting as names go. We'll see. Like I said, could harm her deeply. Works on me immediately, but I have a faster metabolism. Effects won't appear in her case for a few days. Why'd you choose this in the end? Decided it was better than doing nothing. I like you, Witcher. Here. A small gift. For giving a damn. I have no idea what she just gave me. What did she just give me? Huh. 
Alright, so I still don't have another slot, so I'm going to want to upgrade one of the things I already have, which can't possibly be Survival Instinct, because it only has one level, so I guess it's got to be Quinn. I mean, it doesn't have to be Quinn. I could preemptively upgrade something else in anticipation for unlocking a new slot at level 4. I just wouldn't be able to use it until I leveled up. But, what the heck, I guess I'll put another point into this. So it's going to make it do damage to enemies when it pushes them back. And then what does the next level do? Does the same thing, pushes them back, does damage, and a chance for knockdown. Okay, cool. Looks like I accidentally knocked out this. Get back in there. Also, she really bends over suggestively. Like, I swear she was made to do that animation just so that you see her ass as soon as you walk in. It's kind of, kind of weird. I mean, look at that. Like, her animation loop is basically made to bend over so that when you come in, that's what you're staring at. I don't know if that was on purpose or, or what. It's kind of weird. Run, Roach. Okay, um, let's see, where do I need to go? Over there? Okay. That's it, Roach. Faster. Let's go. Please don't chase me. Oh, crap. Oh, God. Actually getting better at the combat. I don't think I took a single point of damage. Or, oh, I see myself healing a little bit, so maybe I took a tiny bit of damage. That was pretty good. <laughs> it's time to go swimming, isn't it? You can't actually swim in The Witcher 3, by the way. It's a new feature. I want to actually dive. Let me see if I can dive. Last time I out anything, I swear it. Oh, hold on. Something's going on here. Lost your key, ma'am? No. Not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty. This hurt. That is. Till the night of all the battle. A man arrived. Walked right in like for his own. Stand Peering at the goings on. He must have been. Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite. Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. He's right baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. What? <laughs> okay. 
Um, by the way, the faces in this game are so good looking. Jesus, look at her face. But yeah, what are you talking about? Interesting. What happened then? A four dawn. Another rode up to the hut. But come on, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. Twere old, black with sort, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Will you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm afeard to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, but he's lying there. Uh, okay. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, <laughs> I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. This, this has got to be a trap or something. I, what even is this? Oh, you can destroy objects with your abilities. Ooh. Looks like you can throw a bomb at it or use Ard. Let's use Ard. <laughs> that is so cool. Look around inside the hut for a frying pan using your Witcher senses. What a great use of my abilities. This is what I trained my whole life for. Alright, so she said it stinks, so there might be a dead body or something. Ooh, armor. Oh, yep, that's a body. A corpse explains the stench. What is that little contraption next to him? Some spinning thing. It looks like it's got a chain or a rope attached to it. Cracked monocle. Interesting. What's that, dearie? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> it's a quest item. His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to myself, they say I'm going bar me. <laughs> some meta commentary going on here. I love it. Uh, when he says he was garroted, does that mean... Is, isn't garroting when you use like a wire around somebody's neck to asphyxiate them? Like what the assassin does in the Hitman games? Isn't that a garret wire? I think. Get some light going on in here. Ah, beautiful. Whoa. Diagram for a Tamarian poniard, whatever that is. Some ore, lunar shards, longsword. I'm diagrams, blah blah blah, craft them. Mm hmm. There's her pan. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hmm, scrubbed clean. <laughs> Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Is that... Found the pan, have you? That's why he wanted it so desperately, is just to be able to write? What did he write? Can I read them? Apparently not. Documents. Oh, here we almost go. Almost entirely burnt. A few pieces still legible. Found the pan, have you? Mm-hmm. Calm down. I'm gonna read those in a second. I think that's it. Honeycomb. That sounds delicious. Alright, let's check them out. Wrong key. There we go. Where are they? 
and when you arrange to meet, you fucking show up. I did, risking my life in the entire blasted operation, and ended up standing there with my plowing cock in my hands, waiting for nothing. I thought the Nilfgaardian army was better organized than that, but you... something something... Tell that blessed Lord General of yours that me and my companions don't hold grudges. So we won't break off negotiations. But since our old plan's gone tits up, this time we'll choose the time and place for the next meeting. Okay, so they're making some sort of a meeting with the Nilf Guardians. So this is obviously something that's either illegal or just some sort of rebellious activity. Hmm. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this sun if I wanted. But them years are past. It was the soot the man needed. He scraped it off to make ink. Must have had an urgent letter to write. Urgently burned some other documents, too. And... And the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilf Guardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here, Sonny, for the road. Fry up a nice white fish for supper. What a pipe! Man, I gotta say, that quest was really, really cool. Seriously, that is a damn good quest. I'm just thinking about what just happened. I mean, right out the gates, it's just, it's weird and funny, right? It's just, there's this old woman looking for her frying pan, and, you know, a witcher going after such a thing is completely ridiculous. It's completely absurd. So it starts out funny and ridiculous and kind of like, okay, what the hell is going on? It just seems like a joke. But then I went into the house and it's, there's actually a lot of intriguing stuff going on, and there's actually a lot of world building there. World building about people, uh, you know, rebellions kind of rising up against the Nilf Guardians and illicit activities, stuff that they're trying to keep on the hush hush. And it just seems to end right there. It doesn't go any further. The quest doesn't go any deeper, but there's just a little bit of a hint, you know, it's, it's a mixture of kind of funny and weird, but also a hint at the underlying kind of sort of political structures going on. So that's actually a really damn good quest. That was really cool. I think that was really smartly done. Alright. Let me go diving. Let's get a good sprint going here. Uh -huh. eh, it didn't quite work. Should I get more than one? Sure. I wonder what cool stuff you can find down here. There's got to be like treasure chests and stuff and some weird stuff you could find if you really go exploring. The freedom of movement in this game is pretty incredible. Especially compared to the previous ones where you could barely even jump over stuff. Poor things. They're so scared. Oh, that's why they're scared. There's another wolf. It's okay, Roach. It's okay. Oh, 
Oh, there's another one. Let's go. Let me see if I can hit it from horseback. Probably can. Damn, you're ugly. Okay, that didn't work. And there's a warg. Good lad, Master Witcher. Though he... Yes, yes, this boy. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Kitty cat. Anyway, I uh, need to talk to him to prepare the potion, I suppose. But before that, I think I will end this episode here. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And I'll be back soon.